Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Leo, I want to give you guys a quick update. Um, a lot of you guys have came to me letting me know that there are people creating fake profiles on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, here on YouTube, of people pretending to be us um, and trying to sell a product or a service um, and many have actually made payments to those people. Um, so again, you guys, please be mindful if you're unsure, if you're following me on social media, I encourage you guys to go to my YouTube main page, uh, to see all the social, um, the social medias that we have. Those are our official ones. Anything outside of that has no affiliation, nothing to do with me. Um, I'm just trying to look out for you guys and prevent these bastards from taking advantage of you guys. So again, um, if you see these, uh, like I said, these profiles, definitely report them so that they can be deleted. Uh, the same thing here on my YouTube channel. I've been noticing a lot of spammers, uh, people coming in, trying to sell a service or making it seem as if they work with me. You guys don't fall for that. Um, you know, if you see a spammer, if you see someone trying to lure other people, definitely report those comments so that they can be deleted. Um, I was actually thinking of, you know, turning off the comment section only because of all those spammers, but I feel that it's unjustly for you guys, and it kind of, I don't want to, you know, take away from you guys being able to speak your minds on here, so I'm definitely not going to do that, um, but it would greatly help us if you report those freaking spammers. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of June 2021 in regards to love and romance. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Love and romance for the month of June 2021. All right. So we're starting off here with the Hanged Man. The Five of Cups. Oof, heavy energy. Three of Swords the six of cups and the alchemist card okay so you guys are dealing with a situation where you feel like there is a lot of inconsistency or there is a lot of instability at the present moment the person that you may be dealing with may be pulling away or they could have you could have recently ended some type of connection or some type of relationship now you're coming up as a hanged man there's a need for you to see things from a very different perspective leo uh, there are certain things when we're talking about relationships that, um, and this could be about your expectations when we're talking about relationships and when we're talking about partners. The Five of Cups is indicating the energy of the person that you were dealing with or have been dealing with. Um, I feel very heavily like this person, if you were in a situation where you were dealing with someone and all of a sudden they pulled out, they pulled away or they started creating some type of distancing. The reason for that is because they're not being completely honest with you, Leo. I feel that this person still hasn't moved on from the past. They're still carrying around um, past residue energy of a past relationship. With the Three of Swords, I feel that the connection could have happened, like they were trying to move on, um, or they felt like they were ready to move on, and that's kind of what propelled them uh, to start dating or to be open to dating. However, I feel that they haven't fully healed from that previous relationship. So again, if you're dealing with a situation where there's a lot of inconsistency, a lot of coming back, and then they ghost you and then they come back again, the reason for that is because they're still, they still have feelings from someone from their past and they're carrying on that hurt. Um, it's kind of like, trying to trying to date different people in order to be able to get over that one person that's the energy that i'm sensing so again if you feel a lot of inconsistency my advice for you leo is to completely pull your energy away uh you don't want to be in this suspense um in this energy of like there's a lot of uncertainty uh it's time for you to see things clearly for what they are now you do have here the six of cups and the alchemist card so this is speaking directly about being able to bring into your life a healthy loving relationship um 
should you continue to go back to this person or give this person the opportunity I feel that it's a reoccurring type of energy, a never-ending cycle of feeling like there is a lot of inconsistency. Um, with the Alchemist card, you have the power uh, to be able to bring to you the type of love or relationship that, um, that you deserve and that you're worthy of. So again, my advice is to completely cut off if you're still dealing with this type of energy. I don't see them wanting to change. I don't see them being ready for any type of commitment. This is the type of energy of when a person is just emotionally unavailable. So I feel that you would be wasting your time and you would be doing yourself a disservice by continuing to entertain this type of energy. What they're telling you here is that there is a connection that will be unfolding for you. And I wanna say the end of June, the beginning of July. Uh, this may be a connection with an Aries. This could be a male or female energy. It is a general reading. But I feel that this person's coming into your life or will be introduced to you through friends. And that's how you're going to know that this is the new person that Spirit is talking about because they're going to be introduced to you. It's someone around you that knows them. Uh, and I feel that the connection is going to be, you know, very strong. What they're telling you here is to really embrace this new beginning, embrace new connections. It's time for you to release yourself from the past. It's almost like you've been stuck on this cycle or you have refused uh to embrace you know the ending of that connection and it has you again it's almost like a a feeling of inconsistency and frustration because you've been trying to get this off the ground however this person is just not ready to give you the type of commitment that you're looking for and that you deserve so again it's time to embrace new beginnings for you leos I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.